Gary Daffin, um, my pronouns are he, him, his, and I live in Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm originally from Mobile, Alabama. Uh, so we have been in the HIV epidemic for about 35 years, 37 years, and we find ourselves in a place where we're making advances in many populations and many communities, but the black community is still bearing the brunt of the epidemic, and particularly certain populations like black gay men um, and black women have, have the highest proportion among women as well. And so we need to figure out a way to stop that, um, frankly. Um, and it, the only way we're gonna do that is for us to come together to convene and to talk about why it is that we aren't making some of the same advances as other folks. Um, what, is, what are the systemic problems? What are the internal problems? How are we communicating with each other? Um, how do we use our history and our love for ourselves, for black people, to um, build a movement that can get us beyond this epidemic? I define black liberation as really fundamentally, deeply believing that no one is better than black people. That there's nothing, there certainly is nothing inherently wrong with being black. And I think the real liberation is to not let people, people's issues affect you and, and, and diminish your own sense of your self-worth. Um, and I think for gay people, I mean as a black gay man, that liberation, that same thinking extends to being a black gay man. Um, and I think we're taught from the beginning there's something wrong with us, that there's some sort of deficit, that we're not as good as heterosexual people, um, and that we should repent for our sins. And I'm happy to repent for my sins, but being gay is not one of them. Um, so liberation is really believing that you belong in the world, that you have as much worth as anybody else. Because remember, the world is your world. You're the king of your own world, or the queen. Um, and you should be the most important person in it.